Hello everyone, Barak here with my new guide on newbie tanks in Final Fantasy XIV. What should you do? How do you even get started? And how do you even find a group? This is for new, complete newbies to Final Fantasy XIV. If you are a veteran, you probably already know this because I'm going to say go to the duty finder. But for those of you who are like, well, what's the duty finder and how do I get to it? Ignore what's on screen right now. I'll show you and it is very worth doing the guild hests and duty finder and things like that because you get bonus gill, you get bonus experience, and it just makes leveling a whole lot more fun doing it in a group. So, let's get started. Okay, now that there was a needless transition, we can actually get into how do I even get to the duty finder. I believe I was actually setting up my hop keys right now. You may want to do that before you go in. You want to have, obviously, shield lob for this first one. You can't even use it, but if you want to be professional, you'd want to go to and learn how to set up marks. Marks aren't really needed for the first few guild hests, but they can be nice. I have mine set to Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3, etc. But if you decide, eh, I'm not going to do that, that's fine for now. But you might want to learn how to mark things, but how to actually get into the duty finder. So, I love needless transitions. But anyway, you want to go down here to the exclamation mark, go to duty finder, and then choose whatever you want to do. If you want to go to Sestasha, that's fine. But for this purposes of this video, we're going to be going to guild hests. And that would be the piece of paper looking icon up there on the left. Yes, this. And click the little box and then click join. It's about as simple as that and then you just gotta wait. Now how long you're gonna wait will depend on a few factors like what's your class, are you a tank, are you a DPS. If you're a tank you're gonna get very fast cues compared to if you were a DPS because let's be honest you're a dime a dozen if you're a DPS. Healers I would imagine also get faster cues, but all in all the average wait time is usually around the right time. Usually it's a little high if you're a tank. Uh, but beyond that, the first guild test is not really difficult. It really just tests do you even understand the basic of tanking? Meaning, your job is to get hit. Bottom line, that's it. Be hit by everything you can. Well, not everything you can at once, but everything you're pulling, you want hitting you. And let's get started. The first guild test is very easy. It's just basically, do you know how to hit flash? If you answered yes, you really probably shouldn't have too much trouble. You might run into a little trouble if you run out of MP, which I believe I do here. But it's not make or break. You don't have to ration your MP this early in the, you know, Final Fantasy XIV experience. You just want to make sure you get the protect. You don't just run away from your... Don't run away from the conjurer. Trust me, that that is annoying if it's anything like other MMOs as a healer. Like I said, you don't need the mark, and I found out this group is like, nah, just screw we don't need the mark. We'll just hit whatever we feel like, and you're gonna run into that as a tank. You gotta learn how to be flexible and just go with what your party... Some parties are more adamant on hurrying, some parties are more cautious. I'm of the cautious type, so I get a just kind of wing it here. Uh, I actually messed up this next pull. You're supposed to pull these separately, I tried to pull these separately, but I ended up pulling all of them. It's not a huge deal as long as your healer's not, you know, not as long as your healer's paying attention, you should be fine here. I tried to pull, but I was, I'm not familiar with this. I'm new to the game, so I kind of just pulled everything. Best thing to do if you pull everything is just try and spam AoE enmity. You want everything on you. The squishies are just that squishy, and for the love of God, try and pull the main boss facing away from everybody. This thing has a huge AoE. Again, it's not needed at this level, but it's good to get into good habits early as a tank. The last thing you want is to have bad habits, and one thing I didn't do very well in this fight is pop defensive cooldowns early. I actually messed up quite badly tanking this. I'm actually ashamed watching this now back, but, you know, everybody makes mistakes. We're all new at one point or another, and the best thing you can do if someone is new in your guild has, don't get mad at them. Just, you know... Be a nice person. If they're not willing to take advice, then just consider it a loss and hope you never get them again in Duty Finder. Simple as that, because all you're going to accomplish by making someone feel bad is, well, making them feel bad. And I don't think I've ever saw some, like, the trash mob be the last one alive here. Then again, this is my first time doing it, so I guess that statement was kind of redundant, now wasn't it? And that was it. That's the first guild test, enemy parties. I gave my accommodation to the healer because I realized I took a lot of extra damage I really shouldn't have. That and DPS didn't hit the marked target, that's gonna be a recurring theme. I'm sure I'm not really mad, I'm just one of those pet peeves as a tank. Hit my target! <laughs> anyway, I'm the, 
Let's move on to the second guild test. Slightly more difficult. Okay, for the next one, I'm actually going to explain a little bit more about rotations, what you might want to be using, and why. Okay, first off, a lot of tanks new to the game, and it's no fault of their own, except maybe if they actually read their skills, but it's still understandable. Anyway, what you need to learn is Savage Blade over Riot Blade. Just, just trust me, okay? If you want enmity, Savage Blade's the way you go. Usually for an AoE pull, I use Flash twice, and then Fast Blade, and then maybe Flash again, and then Savage Blade on the main target, and then Fast and Savage, and then Flash as needed. Every situation's different, not one rotation is ever going to fit all. Here, I was trying to play Super Tank, trying to keep all the ads on me. Thing I didn't realize was, there's more than one ad in the thing, and everybody starts GPSing the ads. Instead of the boss, I guess I should have marked the boss, that was actually my fault, not theirs. And that was a terrible no-no as a tank. Don't pull the tank looking at the rest of the group. I made a bad mistake there. I realized from there, okay, either I can pull the, pull the, in, pull the boss looking at everybody, or try and do it while it's looking away for an AoE, and then try and pull it back away from people. I didn't do a very good job, but, you know, this works rather well. I like to think I didn't do too bad. I, I missed ads running around, as you'll see here in about two seconds on my right. I believe there's somebody going to be running around being chased. Yep. At that point, I'm like, just screw it. We're done, anyway. But bottom line, just try and keep as many things as you can, and don't let the boss's AoEs hit everybody. A lot of bosses will cleave on their auto attack, so you've got to be careful in keeping that thing turned away from the party. That's the basics of tanking, everybody. If you have any questions, I'm only a level, what, 18? So I probably won't be able to answer any in-game questions, for, but for the newbies out there, I hopefully should. But thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and learned something about tanking in Final Fantasy XIV. If you'd like to help support the channel and help it grow, though, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos, and hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell, everyone, until next time.